translation into English work from Wirkstein Hub, which was even really means. So it's the B2B um, solution from experts, I guess, to experts. We're more than excited to hear more about Finnex. Stage is yours. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, very proud to present uh, Phoenix to today. Um, we are a um, platform for industrial insurance products, so no P2P anymore, um, and uh, specialized in financial lines. We only uh, have market experts within our team, so um, like realities from uh, our uh, chief software developer, you can a bit of our technology later on, and myself, I'm Sebastian, I'm uh, a co founder and managing director of Phoenix. And um, myself, I worked uh, for many years in the financial lines sector uh, in London and in Frankfurt, heading up the financial lines team uh, for one of the biggest insurance brokers, Marsh versus the guy. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> was back hard, but back in the day. Uh, yeah, and um, we are a platform, so basically, two sided approach with brokers uh, who are focusing uh, on uh, industry clients. Um, and insurers uh, who are on, on that line as well. Um, when we, back in the day when we started uh, developing this country and left our well paid jobs, um, we always uh, heard uh, industrial insurance is uh, too unique and it's too complex. Why are you doing this? I mean, there's, there's no way it's going to, to succeed. Um, basically, this is why I chose this picture as well. You probably know this is Lloyd's. Uh, and um, I chose this for, for a good reason because. Um, it actually symbolizes the industrial insurance sector quite right. With all these insurers are sitting in these boxes and the brokers running around trying to get the best quotes and the underwriters manually underwriting the risk and try to underwrite it. So that's where the name comes from as well. Um, yeah, and basically um, focusing on financial lines, uh, that's probably why we heard this all the time because financial lines are quite abstract uh, lines of businesses. Or property or no personal damages, or it's a financial loss of companies that you're going to insure. So it's, and it has a very abstract nature. Uh, it's uh, complex products uh, with legal traps uh, and all this stuff. Uh, so insurers and middle market brokers, or brokers in general, struggle to, be, uh, to manage those lines uh, very, with a high quality and efficiency at the same time. So we said, let's do something about this. You want to say, okay, financial lines, what, what, what is this exactly? Um, so, just to give you an example, and this is the four lines we have on our platform right now. It's the directors and officers insurance, so to insure the directors and officers of a company for their personal assets, for any breaches of duty. Um, it's cyber insurance, quite popular uh, nowadays. Everyone talks about it, no one really knows what it is. But um, then it's crime insurance. Um, uh, information with cyber very attractive for a lot of companies and legal expenses. That's the four products we focused on so far. Um, and as I said, it's a typical uh, platform approach with industry brokers on one side and insurers um, on the other side. Um, our focus is really on industrial companies. So it's like uh, from 1 million to 500, it's not that strict, but it's what we mainly focused uh, on. So it's not the barbershop around the corner, and it's not like Siemens or PSF or something like this. Um, so when you think about um, how the industry works and what problems we're solving, let me please elaborate a bit on that, how it still works today. Um, and maybe if it's time to change, and why it's time to change. Um, underwriters <laughs> are not profitable anymore. Why is that? Because especially in financial lines, premiums are on a very low level. They're on the lowest level ever since. Um, the uh, yeah, uh, rates for insurers, if they want to invest their money, interest rates are low as well. And the underwriters manually, still manually today, underwrite the risk. So even if they're not sitting in their boxes, they're sitting at their desk in the offices, the brokers call them or they send emails, as we heard today, it's the most common uh, thing uh, still in the industrial sector. And an underwriter takes about 30 minutes to 120 minutes to underwrite one risk. And then there's a probability uh, to get this risk because the broker, being a broker, has to ask manual, uh, several insurers, of course. So there's a, a, a probability of around 5 to 15, 20% to get the risk, actually, depending on the line of insurance. Um, and uh, of course, the underwriters are quite expensive. So this is why insurers are losing money. 
Um, but what about the brokers? Um, the brokers still need to be classified, right? So they go to sell insurers, they need to analyze the risk of the client, they uh, see which uh, insurer is the best to fit this, need to send uh, appropriate risk information to the insurers, and um, yeah, go on like this. But this is the thing he does. Uh, but what are these uh, uh, his competitor, um, obstacles he's facing? Obviously, competition increases with digitalization and everything going on. Um, there's also a lack of transparency, so normally they're only using three to six insurers they're well known, but maybe there are other insurers, uh, um, companies, they, they have better products for this client. So they don't really know um, all of them and they don't ask all of them all the time. So um, giving this uh, quite complex uh, area, it's similar like in the mobile industry, there's a short life cycle product. So with cyber insurance or with zero insurance, you get product life cycles that are like even lower than a year. Or less than a year. So everyone is like facing these problems, everyone like kind of get that there are problems and they're working on it, but maybe they need a bit of help. Um, so with all of these problems, it's pretty clear that we have to do something about it, but don't panic, we are here, so we probably <laughs> solve this. Um, let me just elaborate a bit more on the underwriting process that you will understand this. So it's when you break it down to make it very simple, the client goes to a broker, the broker analyzes the risk and he goes to an insurer, right? If you want to add a few numbers, um, this is what it probably costs if you say that an hour costs an insurer and a broker 60 euros, just for an example. But this is not the real world, right? Because a broker being a broker has to go to several insurers. But this is also not quite correct because we have several clients and several brokers. So this meaning uh, adds up, you get the, the picture. Uh, one underwriter told me that he has, uh, for one client business, 400 open submissions. So if you say he's really fast and you're doing it like 30 minutes per one uh, submission, means 200 hours, equivalent to 12,000 euro costs, and a hit ratio of 5%. You do the math. Um, so what are we going to do? With our platform, uh, we automated the underwriting process to a segment up to 100 million turnover clients, and from 100 million to 500 million, we reduced it significantly. Um, we'll uh, um, explain that a bit later with technology wise. Uh, so the submission form for a client is able to get it in five minutes. All on white label, uh, on high quality products, as we as uh, support uh, market experts. And for the underwriters, we reduce it in the segment up to 100 million companies, turnover companies to zero minutes. You only have a portfolio minute manager at the insurer sitting there managing his risk appetite. Saving money, uh, saving time means saving money, right? Um, so just a fraction of the insurance we have on our platform today, well-known market leaders in insurance companies, and we're gonna extend this more and more. Yeah, thanks to Sebastian. We have limited time, so I try to be really fast. So, uh, as Sebastian already explained, oh, sorry. We, have, <laughs> we are coming from <laughs> the technology. We are coming from the insurance industry, so uh, we conducted a lot of things uh, to make this happen. and. Uh, the development team and the product manager work so closely to build, based on the data analysis uh, that we did on the data, we processed and we were able to create an algorithm that reduced the underwriting time from all this complexity to zero minutes. All this is possible using the data that we are collecting for customers with turnover up to 100 billion annually. I'm not going to be uh, longer, but uh, I have uh, open for questions. <laughs>